football at Jacksonville University isn't just fun and games. It's turning into a possible court battle as a number of players are looking to jump ship. It stems from the hiring of a new coach and what some players say is the university going back on its word of promised scholarships, which the college denies. Channel 4's Jim Pickett is live at JU. Jim, how many players are we talking about? Well, according to the attorney I talked to today, we're talking about 16 players, and he represents four of them. You know, in a nutshell, the issue is this, that many of these players want to transfer out of JU to a school that offers scholarships for football. Now, they need a special release from, the, uh, from JU in order to do that without having to sit out a year. So far, that hasn't happened for most of them. The rough-and-tumble plays of JU football is now getting rough off the field. The college just finished up a probation period for its past scholarship problems. Recently released a popular head coach, Kerwin Bell. Now the school has some recruited players crying foul, and they won out. Four of them are represented by a popular sports attorney, Don Jackson. We talked with him by phone today from his office, the sports group in Montgomery, Alabama, and asked what the football players are trying to do. And essentially, what they're what they're attempting to do is, is to trans is to have the freedom to transfer out uh, to other scholarship programs. I mean, the bottom line is they they were induced to come to, to, to Jacksonville based on, on a mutual understanding that they would receive athletic financial aid from the 2016-17 academic year on. Jackson says a number of the players can't afford the tuition at JU. He says others want to transfer to other football programs because they felt they were misled in the recruiting process. They're being compelled to pay roughly fifty thousand dollars a year and being re and being denied releases um, when they were when they request the opportunity to leave that situation so i mean this is highly unusual we tried talking with officials from ju today the schools closed because of the holiday but channel four sports director sam Cavaris reached out to ju's athletic director donnie horner asking about releasing the students Horner texted Sam saying, no decision will be made until school is back in session on January 4th. In a published report in the Florida Times Union, the paper says Horner denied making any statements or implications to the players or their families about having scholarship football. We tried contacting players for comment, but said they were told by their attorney not to talk. Don Jackson, the attorney, says he's been in touch with the university's legal counsel and hopes something will happen very soon. It's my hope that over the next several days that the other three will be released as well. I understand that it's Christmas Eve, but there's, this is a five minute long process and there's no reason as to why these young people can't be released today. And of course I did try calling the, the university's attorney not been available for comment today. We're live at JU in Arlington, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.